All right, so I'm gonna continue on uh, with the build for a commander build out of 10 packs, uh, two of each set in standard. Uh, a very limited build. It almost, the, the deck almost builds itself. You pick three colors, your commanders have partner. And my commanders are uh, both three drops. So they're these two guys. So these are my partner commanders. I've already selected um, 40 creatures right here. I'm going to count them to verify my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's 40. Uh, not a great selection because I had to pick whatever I had at the top of the range. It looks pretty bad in this particular uh, range, uh, group of cards and it's only going to get better. So this is actually, we begin with a range that's kind of lame. Uh, the cards that I didn't pick, um, yeah, aren't that many for creatures. Okay, so now let's go to non-creatures. Not sure. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I'll take I'll take this guy. One. Uh, search for a basic land. Um, um, game, but it's got to be three or less. Not sure. Uh, nice battle trick. Uh, another battle trick, and you get to do it again. You can uh, you can drop something, but I'm not on this card. Yeah, give something flying. You definitely want that. Okay, so that, those are for sure's. Again, I'm still gonna go back and pick almost all of the cards. It's a, it's very limited. Definite yes. Uh, this is kind of like a. Uh, somewhat constrained uh, plummet, but I'll take it. Yes, return to, do I have two? I have two return to nature. Oh, dupe, okay. Dupe alert. Okay, so, yes, of course, no doubt. Discard a card, draw two cards, no. Two damage to something small, not sure. I'm not casting a ton of adventures. Yes, we need to give things flying. Uh, three damage to target creature can deal five. Yeah, for sure. Why not? Okay, so that was a dupe. I'll put it over here. And then, uh, yes, of course. Uh, destroy flyers. Yeah. It's a good tempo beater, but... Uh, I only have one. This is not going to be good. Two damage to any target. Uh, and you can do it twice. Yeah, sure. Gets plus two, plus two. A fight, a fight trick. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, exile something big. Yes. Um, yeah, not sure. I mean, this is kind of like giving something vigilance for three. Cards in your hand, then draw that many plus one. Not sure. Old, old card. Look at that artwork. That is old school core set artwork. And I'm sure the card was issued somewhere else before. All creatures you control get plus two plus one, and it's an instant. Yeah, I'll take it. Destroy something big. Tough. It's going to have toughness of four. Yeah. Put a counter on each creature you control. Definitely in this case. Yeah. Exile something, artifact or enchantment, yes. Uh, exile all multicolored cards, permanents. You also have a lot of multicolored permanents. This is risky here. If this is a monocolor build, I'd definitely take it. Yeah, for sure. Give first strike. Uh, but we're not on equipment. I think, you know, if I put this in, I want to put, uh, I want to put this in. So yeah, they both go in. Then uh, save something that went to the graveyard. That's fine, but I'm not going to put it in right now. Gain control. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really heavy for that effect. 
and it's not even an instant. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so how many do we have? Again, I'm going. This is kind of like thea theatrical nonsense because I'm going to end up picking most of these cards anyways. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 18. So I need two more. Yeah, incredibly enough, this is actually not as bad. On the non-creatures, is not as bad as the creatures. All, all, all together, kind of a lane selection, selection in my opinion. Better selection one was a much more fun build, even though both are really tight. So I got, I got, I want to pick two cards in here. Um, I like this one. And I like a science combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. That's actually not terrible. Um, it's a temple slowness, but this is not good. I'm not a monocolor. I'm not going to play this sort of trick. I mean, discard all cards in your hand. If you have one card, you draw two. So you're basically drawing one card for four. And getting a little life. No, I'm not really interested. So it's really down to uh, these three. I think the, from these three, I would pick something. Um, and I'm going to say, this is okay, but fat butts are not what I'm into in this deck. So I think I'll pick these two. And I'm not going to belabor the point of what I'm picking at this point. Really, I mean, effectively... Uh, this video is all about, this is doable, if you want to play, if you really love Commander and you want to limit yourself to only sets that are in Standard and you want to pick two packs from each one and you want to do Partner uh, Commander, so pick two and then you're, you're, you want to be in three colors, you can do this. Do you really want to? Yeah, sure. I think if you have a pile of new cards and you want to get into them, I think this is a nice fun, very casual way to play Commander. I'll leave it at that, but in the next video that I make, uh, I'm going to just drop in a whole selection from uh, from a toolkit. It's only going to have, it's going to have four new packs, but I've already broken up that toolkit before, so I'm not going to show uh, cracking the toolkit. I even think I'm just going to have, I'm going to repile these cards the way that I had them when I started the video. And then I want to have the four packs and put those cards in uh, to the selections and then build with that. Because otherwise, I don't want to spend the 15 minutes doing nothing. Uh, it, and it may have felt like I was doing that with this build, but I still think it's fun. It's a fun deck. The top creatures suck, most of them. And you're basically play, playing with a lot of chaff. Uh, but it's a beginning selection. From here on out, we're going to keep making this selection better.